Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, they have given W is Q plus IB, which is an analytic function, and they have given the imaginary part V, and they are asking us to find the real part U. So from this V, we are going to find BX, the partial derivative of V with respect to X will give 2X, and Y square is a constant. Here we are going to follow the quotient rule. So we differentiate the numerator, we keep the denominator as it is, then minus we keep the numerator as it is and differentiation of the denominator is 2x and y square is a constant so it is 0 whole division denominator square so x square plus y square whole square now bx of z comma 0 will become this is 2z plus here z square and y square is 0 minus again here 2z square because wherever x is there we have to put z and wherever y is there we have to put 0 and this becomes z square whole square. So totally this is 2z minus z square by z power 4. After cancelling we get 2z minus 1 by z square. In the same way we are going to proceed vy and partial derivative with respect to of v with respect to y is first term is 0, second term is minus 2y and here we have to follow the quotient rule. First term x derivative is 0 because we do partial derivative with respect to y so x is treated as a constant into the denominator minus we write the numerator as it is and differentiate of the denominator is 2y now whole division x square plus y square whole square. Now in the same way we are going to find b y of z comma 0. So here when y is 0 this is 0 and this is already 0 when I put y is 0 the total term itself 0. So totally b y is 0. Now w is given as u plus i b and w dash is u x plus i v x. Now u x equal to v y and u y equal to minus b x from CR equations and hence from this u x is replaced by b y so w dash is b y plus i b x so from Milne Thompson method w is integral b y of z comma 0 into d z plus i into integral v x of z comma 0 into d z. Now this becomes first part is 0 anyway because b y is completely 0 and v x is 2 z minus 1 by z square. So this is 0 plus i integral 2 z minus 1 by z square d z. 2 z minus 1 by z square d z. Anyway, the first part is 0. Now we have i and this integration is 2z square by 2. This is z power minus 2. On integration, we get z power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1. So this is minus z power minus 1 by minus 1 and we have plus c. This is our w. So after cancelling this, we get i into z square and this we can cancel and make it as plus z power minus 1 is 1 by z plus c. So we got the analytic function w but in this question we have to find the real part u. For finding the real part we have to substitute z as x plus i y. So w is i into x plus i y whole square plus 1 by x plus i y plus c and this expansion using a plus b whole square it is a square plus 2 a b plus b square that is i square y square and here we have to multiply by the conjugate already we have in the denominator x plus i y so in the numerator and denominator its conjugate when we multiply it is x minus i y and we have at the end plus c. So totally this is 
i x square and this term is i square is minus 1 so minus y square plus this term is i into 2x y and here the numerator is x minus i y whole division and denominator is a plus b to a minus b so a square minus b square this is of the form a plus b into a minus b so that can be written as a square minus b square so x square minus i square y square so we get once again i into x square minus y square plus i into 2xy plus x minus iy by this is x square i square is minus 1 already there is a minus so plus y square plus c now we will separate this into two part so that it is easier to take the real part and imaginary part separately so first terms are written as it is and here this is x by x square plus y square minus i y by x square plus y square and at the end we have plus c now here we take without i term x square minus y square and plus x by x square plus y square so I have grouped the terms these terms together and plus i into bracket open 2xy then here minus y by x square plus y square and whole thing plus c so now when you multiply this i inside we get i into x square minus y square plus x by x square plus y square i square is minus 1 so minus 1 and 2 2xy minus y by x square plus y square and totally we have plus c now from this we have to take the real part which is u that is minus 2xy we can take this minus inside so plus y by x square plus y square plus c so thus we got the real part u